Good Story Guild presents Ley Lines. Created by Carrot Williams. Episode 4 Artifice. Milo, was that your dumb security greeting? No way. How could it be? Because we're under our house. Your house in Massachusetts? We flew to Scotland to get sent back to where we started. Apparently. Look at this stuff. Schematics, part of a push pack, like a dozen empty coffee cups. Set of golf clubs. Yep. Old school, actual wood clubs. Those are his. This is all Battery Dad. critical. Oh, man. Dad did not Battery have a secret critical. lab under the house. Battery critical. How would he critical. even access it? Same way we did, through the... Oh. Ah. Uh, Play line. Oh, crap. This is stupid. Yep. Battery's dead again. Ugh. I need to refit this with something bigger. Check this out. Whoa. Yeah. If people were constantly calling me a conspiracy nut, I probably would hide my giant map covered in pushpins and string. Are these? Leyline connections. Look, here's Steinert Hall to Gobekli Tepe. He was charting the whole network. Yeah, here's his commute. He would drive 10 minutes to this node in Tewkesbury, which takes him to the Duddingston Golf Course in Edinburgh, maybe plays around, then walks over to the Sheep Heat Inn and hops back to this lab. Hey. Maybe we can use the map to figure out where he went. Is there a ley line marked at MIT? Yeah, but it's not connected to any others, and it's orange. Why is it the only orange one? Because I don't think it was a normal ley line. What? Uh, These schematics are for the think tank at MIT, and this one is a quantum resonance generator, like the biggest one I've ever seen. We have them at McCall, but ours create a resonance field that's, I, I, I don't know, a, a few millimeters in diameter? This one is three meters. So what does a giant quantum resonance field do? Nothing practical, usually. We use them to study subatomic dynamics. But it looks like your father thought that with a big enough field, he could tear an entrance into the ley line network. Like making an artificial ley line? Exactly. You wouldn't be limited to naturally occurring nodes. You could enter the network anywhere. Like a, like a needle puncturing a vein. If he had pulled it off, it would have revolutionized global transport. Maybe he did pull it off. What do you mean? Dakota said she saw the ley line open at Dad's demonstration. Maybe the artificial ley line worked for just long enough to pull him through before it exploded. Well, that's... I I mean, is that possible? In theory, but... So if we reopen the same ley line, we can find him! Milo, the only thing we know for certain is that whatever your dad was doing, it killed 11 people. If we follow his plan, what's to say we won't blow ourselves up? Culture. What? Look at the map. Where are the nodes? We've got the major cities, sure. But look at this one, way out in western China. That's got to be the ruins of Jiaohe. Which is... An ancient city, nowhere near China's biggest population centers. Same with this one, southern Peru, middle of nowhere. That's Chokekirao. Is the point that you know a lot of hard-to-pronounce cities? The point is that ley lines aren't just tied to population. They're tied to cultural significance. Okay, but how does that help us? Dad didn't care about culture. He was arrogant. He thought he could brute force a ley line into existence. And he was half right. He could open a ley line, but without any cultural connection, it wouldn't be stable. That's why his attempt was a catastrophe. But if you can only open an artificial ley line where there's already cultural connection, then it's not really an improvement. Unless you have a way to make culture portable. As in? Artifacts. Oh my god, this whole speech was you trying to make your dissertation seem relevant? There is a theory that physical objects can become imprinted with memory. They're called engrams. These places are ruins now, so why do they have ley lines? Because they're anchored to the cultural memory of the very walls. That's what I felt at Gobekli Tepe. Something powerful in the air. We can mimic that by using an imprinted object as a kind of anchor artifact to stabilize the ley line. So what, we dig up some old bricks? 
We could use anything. It just needs to have cultural significance and, ideally, be really old. And that will make Dad's ley line work. Yes. You sound pretty confident given that you clearly just pulled this idea out of your ass. It makes sense. Milo, tell me that this isn't the exact kind of mistake Dad would make, thinking he could outsmart nature. I mean, yeah, that's Dad. Oh, so now you believe all that? If it means we can find Dad, it's worth a shot. We'll need the quantum resonance generator. Do you think Cameron could get us access to the think tank? Uh, probably. Her name is on the building. And Ethan, we need what, an artifact that represents Boston? Uh, my department at BU has some colonial pottery that could work. They've got these pre-revolutionary teapots with surprisingly intricate sunflower patterns. We don't need the details. Can you get one? I'm not exactly on the best terms with my advisor right now, but I think so. All right. We've got a plan. We're also trapped in a basement with no exits and a dead pushback. Well, when you're in a trap, you grab your wedge. That's a nine iron. Well, Dad never actually took me golfing, so I wouldn't know that, would I? Oh, Jesus, Milo. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. I'm a little mad you figured that out before I did. Wait, how did you know there'd be a hatch there? Because we're below our old bedroom. There was a hatch under the rug that our dad sealed up and told us to never touch. All those hours dad said he was at work, he was 10 feet below us. Hey folks, uh, we're at cruising altitude should be landing at Boston Logan in about, uh, six hours. Sit back and relax. Enjoy your flight. Six hours? For a journey your friends made in about 30 seconds? Marvelous, don't you think? Not the word I'd use. Oh? How would you describe ley lines? Unknown. Hmm. A prudent perspective. I like that. I must attend to other business. Sawyer will keep you company. Please, help yourself to some rosewater kombucha. <clears throat> military? Huh? You're military. Army ranger. Oh. Yeah, how'd you know? You got a ranger patch on your jacket. Well, I'm not a ranger anymore. Oh, I see. Marine Force Recon myself. Ain't the only way to use what you've got, your skills, to protect people. <sighs> I'm not even sure people want protecting. It ain't about what they want. It's about what they need. Yeah. Anyway. You think on it. I will. Universities always have to look so old. Like, you can spend some of that endowment to upgrade the paneling. Or is it just because it's the archaeology department? Get it? Because you study old stuff. Yes, I get it. I told you I could do this alone. But what if you need moral support? Or a sense of humor? Whatever. We're here. Just go sit on that bench and wait, okay? A moment, please. Sit. What if she says no? She won't. Hi, Dr. Kihara. Do you have a minute? Very well. Come in. Thanks. Wow, it's like an oven in here. Yes, the AC in these old buildings reliably fails at exactly 90 degrees. May I sit? I'd prefer if we made this quick. Sure, okay. I know I... I'm sorry for my behavior last time we spoke. You ranted at me at a bar in front of my colleagues. I believe academic cesspit and clown college were phrases you selected? Yes. That was absolutely unacceptable. And this is not to excuse my actions whatsoever, but it's just that after my father's death, I wasn't in my right mind. I accept your apology. However, my decision stands. I cannot continue as your advisor. I'm not here about that. I'm working on something new. And 
if I could access some artifacts from the archives, then... Who are you working with? It can't be anyone in the department. Um, it's just me right now. But I'm really close to a significant breakthrough. Something that could potentially change the world. Like your father? No, n- not... Not about my dad. I just need your help. I've already seen things that would completely change our understanding of how human culture intertwines with nature. Yesterday, in Gobekli Tepe... You were in Turkey? Yes, but this thing I'm studying, it's a worldwide phenomenon. Ethan, let me stop you. I wanted this to come through official channels, but given the course of this conversation, I think it's best if I let you know. Your PhD has been denied. What? There was nothing wrong with my dissertation. It's my father, isn't it? The university doesn't want to associate with him. Jesus. The, the whole point of this degree was that I'm not him. Ethan, I can't speak to the committee's decision, but let me act as your advisor one final time. Until you can put the work itself ahead of the reputation it garners, you won't find what you're looking for. Well, if I'm no longer associated with this department, then I don't have to listen to lectures. Enjoy your sauna office. Enjoy your sauna office. Nice one, Ethan. Where'd you go? I told you to stay here. Yeah, well, I didn't. What'd she say? That I've apparently wasted the last five years of my life. They denied my PhD. Which, obviously, also means I can't get into the archives. Oh, crap, man. Listen, screw those guys. Remember what Dad used to say? Academia's for smart people who never want to accomplish anything? I don't (laughs) really want to talk about Dad. Wait, what's with the Starbucks bag? Oh, I got the teapot. You you got the... You broke into the archives? I picked the lock on one of the side doors. Well, more accurately, I smashed the lock. Kind of like a smashing picking combo. You didn't think I could convince her? Uh, Okay. Yes, fine. I thought maybe it wouldn't go well, so... I'm sorry. I I should have waited. But hey, we've got the artifact, right? I guess. We probably shouldn't hang around. Let's hope Abigail was able to get us into the think tank. Abigail! Come on in. Hi, I... Quite the adventure we've had. And of course, I've brought back Noah, safe and sound. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Uh, Is this your office? In a sense. My father's office is on the top floor, but I like to be out here, shoulder to shoulder with my coworkers. And I mean that, Abigail. I consider you, everyone here, my coworkers, not my employees. But you do employ them. Yes. But we have a common goal, a shared mission. And I don't think we can succeed on that mission if I'm looking down on my teammates from some penthouse office. Can I offer you some carbon offset tea? No, thanks. I actually had a somewhat urgent request. We discovered a lead. We wanted to see if you could get us access to the think tank at MIT, since, well, since you more or less own it. Uh, I don't own the think tank. It's part of the university, intended to serve the greater good through cutting edge research. Oh, I- I I I know. I'm being jocular. I can speak with the administration for you. Can I ask exactly what you're investigating? Uh, I think Ethan and Milo didn't want to share that just yet. I see. Noah, would you mind if I talk to Abigail one-on-one? Help yourself to some snacks in the relaxation vestibule. I think it's shiitake wagyu sliders today. I'll pass on the fungus burgers. I'll see you outside. I want you to be our development lead on the Leylands Initiative. Uh, I'm sorry, what? You would have your own research team, a budget that would be, for all conceivable purposes, unlimited, and you would report directly to me. We'd be working together, making the real decisions that will shape the future of our society. I mean, that would be incredible. But why me? 
I haven't even been with McCall for a full year. Because, for one, I know a brilliant mind when I see one. More importantly, you know more about ley lines than any other living person. Except, perhaps, the Harbor Brothers. Uh, there, there's still a lot we, we don't know. Which I'm sure you will discover in the course of your research. Now, there is a caveat. Our researchers have made significant progress based on Dr. Harbor's work at the think tank. But without the pushback, we can't move forward. Or rather, you, as development lead, can't move forward. Ah. Uh, so it's not really about my brilliant mind. You just need someone to convince the brothers to give you the pushback. Abigail, if I wanted to bribe you, I wouldn't use the second most important job in the company. I want you heading up ley lines because you're the right woman for the job. But should you accept, you will need the pushback. I believe we have a similar vision for the future. We understand that ley lines could be the key to reversing climate change to creating a pan-global exchange of goods and ideas, to generating a chance for a true utopia. Do we share that vision? I can try, but they never agree on anything. I don't need both brothers. One signature will be sufficient with enough lawyers, and I have no shortage of lawyers. So, I can make a call right now to get you access to the think tank. Are you ready to change the world? Perfect. Meet at MIT in 30 minutes? Great. Hey. Who was that? Milo. I got us access to the Think Tank Lab. What's the nearest T station? Broadway? Yeah. Okay, let's hurry. What did Cameron want to talk about? Mm, work stuff? The CEO of your company wanted to talk about work stuff? Yes. Okay. Here, hang on to this. What is this? It's a GPS tag. For what? In case we get separated again, like with the ley line in Scotland. So what, you can track me down? Like I'm your lost AirPods? No, it's just... I'm not taking that thing, Noah. Well, what is going on with you? Why have you been treating me like a child? I... I saw something in Somalia. I... I think it was a ley line. Well, why, why didn't you mention it before? I was ordered not to. Wait, so does the government know about ley lines? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know, Abigail. I... It was bad. People were killed. Guys in my unit. By... by the ley line? Yeah. They were torn apart. Oh. Uh, I, I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, I just... <clears throat> I just don't want you to get hurt. Or Ethan. Or Milo. I get that, Noah. But we're close to something big here. I could have a real impact on the world. So I don't need a babysitter. I need a partner. Figure out which one you want to be. It's weird actually seeing all this, where it happened. In my head, I could only imagine it right after the accident body parts. Way to set the mood, buddy. Cheer up. We're about to complete Dad's work. So how does this generator work? Oh, it, it consumes an obscene amount of energy to create a textured field at the quantum level. Basically, we get a little patch of space-time to be really pissed off. And then the pushback can force that field to tear open into the leyline network. And Ethan's little teapot will keep it stable. So it's not gonna blow up? If all goes well. That's not particularly reassuring. I assure you, it will go well. Milo, start it up. Abigail, you have the calculations for the pushback? Yep. Powering on. This is so cool. We're making history. How do you think we should release our results? Ooh, can I do a Steve Jobs-style keynote? <laughs> 
I think it's ready. Milo, place the teapot. <sighs> Tea is served. Here we go. Activating. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Yes. I take back everything I said about archaeologists. This is it. They're going to have to give me my degree now. Ethan, they're going to give us a Nobel Prize. It looks different. Yeah. It looks orange. The edges are ragged. Milo killed the generator. Hold on. I can see something on the other side. It's not stable. Get, get out of the way. No! Hold on! Get, get, no. get off me! We have to shut it down! I got it! Oh. Uh. Oh, no! Ley Lines Episode 4 was written by Christopher J.P. Smith and directed by Rachel Music. Starring Christopher J.P. Smith as Ethan, Christopher Gebauer as Milo, Jessica Canizaro as Abigail, Nick Reinhardt as Noah, Alyssa Mann as Carmen McCall, featuring Gloria Sai as the pilot, Matt Horn as Sawyer, and Keiko Shimosato Carrero as Dr. Kihara. Sound design by Catherine Seaton. Original music composed by Michelle Sutta. Recorded, mixed, and mastered by Evan Chambers. Produced by Simone Kissel. Associate produced by Maximilian Clark. Executive produced by the Good Story Guild. For transcripts, full cast and crew details, and to follow this and other GSG productions, see our show notes.